Here we go. Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Mark from Woodworker Source and this is a big old chunk of 12 quarter cherry. What does 12 quarter mean? It's just the fraction that denotes the thickness of this lumber. If you've never heard that term before, that just means it's about three inches thick. 12 quarters, 12 quarters of an inch. 12 divided by four equals three. You are correct. Good job. <laughs> Wood like this is big, it's heavy, it's a little harder to cut and saw and work with because of that. So let's get to some tips. So it's really common to get burns and less than stellar cuts unless you're using the right blade. I'm going to show you what I mean by demonstrating by making a couple of rip cuts using a 50 tooth combination blade. This baby right here. So this type of blade is usually just fine if you're cutting half inch, four quarter, even anything up to like two inches thick. It's just fine for general purpose cutting, ripping, cross cutting, all that. But this type of blade really reaches its limits when you introduce 12 quarter lumber, three inch thick lumber. That stuff is just so thick and dense that kind of blade just has met its match. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay guys, that was that. That first cut, really hard to do. It gave, gave me a lot of resistance, obviously gave me a bunch of burn marks too. That's just kind of the way it goes when you use a blade with that many teeth on a rip cut through that thick of wood. And now let's swap in that ripping blade and you'll see a huge difference. So a dedicated ripping blade has an aggressive forward rake. It's got deep kellets between the teeth. Plus it has fewer teeth than you might be thinking. And this one that I'm using only has 24 for example. And seriously, this is the type of blade you want to use if you're going to be ripping hardwoods and you want to get nice, crisp, clean cuts. Okay guys, did you notice that? The cut went really fluid, it was really nice, plus there's no burn marks in this piece, and the blade was at full height. So that's just really a testament to the reason to use a dedicated ripping blade, especially in thick hardwoods like this. Okay, so one trick you might be thinking of doing is maybe taking that cut in a couple of passes. And what I mean by that is, you start with the blade just an inch or so above the table, you make the cut, you raise the blade a little bit more, you make the cut again, and then you raise the blade the final amount, and make that final cut. What that does is it puts a lot less stress on your tools, on that blade, and as you push, you just you don't feel like you're fighting that board nearly as much. You might reduce the amount of burns and stuff you're gonna get. And frankly, that's what I thought too. I gave it a shot, I didn't have any better result. It still burned just as much. The cut went a lot easier, that's for sure, but I did have to make three passes, so I didn't save any time. It only saved a little bit of pressure I had to put on the board didn't get any better cut so I think the better way to go about this is just use a ripping blade okay guys thanks for watching we really appreciate it I hope you learned something if you did give that little thumbs up a little tap and uh, spread the word thanks bye